everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free book review of Theonite, Planet Adam by M.L. Wong. This is the first book in a series. I was sent this by the author and it is self-published. So I'll give you a quick summary of the plot, what I liked, what I didn't like, and then my star rating. This is a YA kind of urban paranormal sort of fantasy, and I would say it's on the younger side of YA. It's following a 13-year-old girl named Joan with flashbacks from her childhood. As Joan is discovering and utilizing her supernatural abilities, and as far as she knows, she is the only person on Earth who has these abilities. That includes strength, memory, all kinds of stuff, and some elemental sort of powers. This started to come out naturally at a very young age, so she has been suppressing a lot of this because she's the only person that she knows of and she doesn't want to be viewed as some sort of freak. Joan is our main perspective that we're reading from, but there is another perspective from a boy named Daniel. And Daniel is from a different dimension. So in this book, these two meet and you go from there. <laughs> That's a lot of what the plot centers on though, is Joan and Daniel meeting, Daniel coming from this other dimension, which may or may not have powers, I will not say. This book is pretty short, it's less than 300 pages, which is part of the reason that I say it's on the younger side of YA, as well as the fact that it has younger YA kind of characters, because they are 13. But some of the themes I wouldn't necessarily say are middle grade, so definitely young YA. Speaking of the themes, that's one of the things that I liked in this. I liked this exploration of difference, because difference is a key theme. There is difference in Joan, because Joan is the only person that she is aware of on Earth that has this sort of ability. Race and religion are also mentioned pretty frequently in this book. And then we bring in this other dimension, because Daniel is a person of color, and most of the people in his dimension are people of color. So that is something that I'm looking forward to reading about in future installments. I believe the second book is out at this point. If you have watched my channel very much at all, you know that I really like good world building and I like things that feel like a crossover, either between worlds or between stories. So reading something where multiple dimensions are a thing really appeals to me, especially as I think we'll be learning more about this other world. Sorry if you can hear Violet snoring in the background, she's taken a nap on the couch. I also really enjoyed the plot of this one. I wouldn't say that this is a plot-heavy book or anything, but it moves pretty quickly. It was a very easy read, and I think that this story really was more unique than I would have anticipated after reading the synopsis. The entire kid has superpowers and is the only person thing seems like something that's been done, but this entire like alternate dimension thing was very different, and I appreciated seeing that. Also, I'm not sure about in the future, but this is not a romance like subplot, at least not at the moment. But as someone who is not a fan of romance subplots often, I'm happy with that. So that's what I really enjoyed about this book. The main thing that I would say that I disliked, which isn't even exactly a dislike, it's just that I felt a disconnect from the characters. It could be because of the length of the book, it just didn't feel like they were as fleshed out as people. Like, they were fleshed out in their circumstances, but I'm still trying to come to understand their actual individual personalities, aside from where they are and what their powers are. Like, who they are as a person, I want to come to understand more, and I'm not connected with them at this point on that kind of level. I know I said that the plot moves quickly, but it's not a plot-heavy book. So I feel like that character development is needed a bit more so that you feel involved in the story. So I would recommend this book to you if you really enjoyed the whole super-powered kind of person, but not your typical superhero sort of story. As you can probably tell, I enjoyed this book and I gave it four stars. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this, if so, what you thought of it. Also, are you interested in reading this if you haven't read it? And what do you think about super-powered people? as a concept in books. I know that some people really like superheroes, but this isn't exactly superheroes, this is kind of different. And though I like magic systems, that kind of concept isn't something that I tend to like as much, but I enjoyed it in this book. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and until next time, 